Hello folks, this is a project that was inspired by my TV service provider in preparation for ultra high definition TV coverage and that is a Wi-Fi signal strength site survey tool. What happened is they provided me with a, a hub upgrade to what's called a SkyQ hub. The original uh, hub router was a single band, had good Wi-Fi coverage, excellent range whereas the new Sky Q product is dual band, uses the same firmware as the original, but it has very poor Wi-Fi coverage. So this is how I went about solving the problem. So I'll go through hardware options I considered, how to interpret received signal strength indications, how to conduct a site survey, and then how to interpret the results by plotting the, the uh, signal strength around the property and uh, to begin with then here's a unit demonstration uh, so this is an ESP32 and 1.3 inch OLED and uh, it's just me moving around and you can see Sky AE43F is my primary service Okay, to begin with then I considered using my ESP32 X1 board with its built-in OLED display um, or a uh, the one I did use in the end which was this ESP32 with a pluggable um, OLED so that plugs on top of each other it makes for a nice neat unit or I could have gone for a separate the Node MCU 32S and a separate OLED display wiring up uh, ground, VCC, data and clock. It, they all come to the same conclusion. Um, here's an illustration of received signal strength indication. 0 dBm is a strong signal. Uh, a normal signal ranges from about 40 through to 70 dB, minus 40 to minus 70 dBm. So that's a good range of signals. That's a, a factor of a thousand in signal strength. A poor signal is about anything less than minus 80. An unusable one is when it starts to approach minus 100. In terms of decibels, a minus 3 dB change is a factor of 2 or a half. A 10 dB change is a factor of 10 or a tenth. So in terms of looking from minus 40 to minus 70, that's a change in signal strength of a thousand times, which is quite significant. So 0 dB is relative to 1 milliwatt, which is where the 0 dBm comes from. Minus 35 dBm is probably about the maximum signal strength you record. And minus 70 is about the reliable minimum signal strength, and you can just about get reliable operation at minus 80. This is how I went about it. Drew out the property boundaries, um, marked the position of the router, walked around with the unit to record the signal strength in dbm trying to keep reasonably equidistant around the circle um, and trying to keep the orientation of the aerial or the unit always the same which is fairly easy to do so there's me just illustrating that I mean, ideally keep the aerial orient so the results are the same so there's no polarization factors coming into play with the reception um, it doesn't really matter how many points you record the more bet the more points you record the better the results there's there are my results as I went round the property um, they're all varying up and down it's just really to get a polar what's called a polar plot of the uh, Wi-Fi coverage they are the results. The, I'm just pointing out the minus 70, which I consider to be the minimum usable signal line, and anything that's outside of that line, um, which is I've put in there, highlighted in red, is where you're most likely to get poor Wi-Fi coverage. And um, you can do this by trial and error, but this is just uh, showing how you can use the ESP32 um, or an ESP8266 to undertake a science survey. I solved it by adding range extenders, but I chose those positions of the range extenders by this site survey. Note that the diagram is approximately centered on the router, not the property, if that makes sense. Uh, enjoy.